Hi dancers, it's Luke here. Thanks for joining up for this course uh, where we're going to look at balance in dance from, of course, a, a biomechanical perspective. So uh, if you're not sure what biomechanics is or you, you want to brush up on it, I'd urge you to go and check out the Dance Knowledge YouTube channel. And we've got heaps of short little clips that go over the author bios and all of the sort of basic principles that the authors talk about on, on dance knowledge. And of course, they're, they're free and you can use them. You can use them to show them to your students or, or wherever and, and really give you a good sense of, of where we're coming from with dance knowledge and the basic theories that we are talking about. Um, but yeah, for today, we're, in this course, we're going to talk about dance biomechanics. And so to do that, I've gone onto Wikipedia and I've, I've found this, this neat picture here of this guy who seems to be performing. It's pretty impressive one arm handstand, it looks like, in, in his apartment and really is, is demonstrating some, some pretty impressive balance here. So I thought it was a good picture to start with and to go through the, the, the principles that we're going to look at through the course. And if you like it, you can see the link down there and, and go onto it and download it yourself. But you can see over the top of the picture, I've got these four uh, shapes here. I've got these two circles. I've got shape one here, I'll call the top circle. Shape two, I'll call this light blue arrow. Shape three, I'll call this dark blue circle. And shape four, this dark blue arrow. So these four shapes represent the four critical elements that we're going to look at in this, this course because they're really the four most important components of, from a biomechanical perspective, how a dancer performs balanced tasks. And you can see shape one, that circle there, is over his navel and is, is, a, is a bit of a crude representation of what we refer to in dance as the center. So the term center, of course, is should be familiar to you all and is thrown around the studio all the time for instruction or when you're thinking about how to perform balance um, tasks and, and improve in your, your balance. And, and so center really should be quite a familiar term to you. And we use it in biomechanics as well, except we chuck in a few more words and we refer to it as the center of mass. And so really the center of mass is referring to the central point of all the mass of our dancer's body. And so in the first video to the one after this one, we're going to look at what that means and how it's calculated. And then, of course, how it relates to balance in dance. Now, the second shape there, the light blue arrow that we've got here, you may have already guessed refers to gravity. That looks like gravity, gravity. Okay, so another familiar term to you, but in biomechanics, the center of mass and gravity are forever connected. They're, they're just inseparable beings. And because the gravity acts on the center of mass, it's the point of application of the force of gravity. And when we think about gravity pulling us down towards the Earth, in biomechanics we think of gravity pulling the center of mass down towards the Earth. So that'll be the second section for the course. Uh, shape three, the dark blue shape down the bottom here that's surrounding his hand, we refer to as the base of support. And basically that relates to the point of our guy's body here that is in contact with the ground. It's the point of its body that is, is stopping him in falling over. It's the point of, he's got the pressure of his weight going through. So we'll look at that third. And just as the center of mass and gravity are always connected, the base of support and the fourth shape here, shape four is the ground reaction force. Now that sounds like a really quite complicated term and don't get scared off by it. It's, it's really quite simple and we're going to spend the last video going over what the ground reaction force is and how it relates to, to balance. And by the end of the course you'll be um, fully up to speed with it and, and really understand what it is and, and what it means. 
But of course, they're four independent elements. And really what we need to do is bring them all together and to consider then how do these four things relate to balance. And that's what we'll do at the end of the course. So I hope you enjoy the course. Like I said, if you need to brush up on the, on the basics, check out the YouTube channel and, and look at biomechanics and those basic biomechanics uh, videos. Um, by the end of the course, you ha should have a really good understanding of the biomechanics of balance and how it can help you to become a better dancer or to help your students become uh, better dancers. And so we'll go on to the next video now, which of course is Center of Mass, which I hope you enjoy.